This is a very large excision that was made about a year ago. This very large limb was cut off. It was dying in decline and finally it seemed reasonable to remove it from the tree. We are left here now with a very large wound. That's a good nine inches across, I would say. A pretty sizable excision. And we did treat the wood when we made the excision and I can still feel the wax. It's a little bit slippery. So there's a little residual of the wax still remaining. And the wood is still firm. It's still quite firm. Now there's some discoloration you can see around the edges here. And we do notice a little bit of checking. You can see some cracks. And we want to slow that down. We don't want this thing to open up and let water in. So we're going to treat this wound again. And now it's the healing response that we're watching for. So we're going to slow down the decay. We do see the bark is pushing back here. And we can see a cambium callus right down in there trying to push up to the surface. So the tree is actively trying to heal this wound. We don't want this to turn into a rotting pocket. So we're going to shoot it with the orange rind oil first. We're going to soak it into that end grain. And then added to that will be our, in this case, we're trialing the Howard's Feed and Wax. It doesn't have to be a heavy coat, we just want complete coverage. There. This is a really big cut. You would never make a cut like this on a tree, just willy-nilly make an excision like this. Once the tree has achieved its morphology, its main structural form, we don't want to radically interfere or interrupt that main structural skeleton, except in a case like this where the limb really has died. And so we felt better to take it now and give the tree a chance to heal this site while the death of the limb is fairly recent. So we cut back to firm sound wood. We've made this large excision. We've treated about once a year to this wound to slow down decay and give the tree time to cope with it. We do see cambium rising up around the edges here. You can see how it's pushing back the bark in a few areas. So living tissue is rolling up from around the edges. We have no adventitious shoots. If we did, we would keep them, but we don't. We have not a single shoot occurring around this edge. Maybe when this cambium gets up into the light, there'll be enough stimulus that we will get some small shoots here that we can allow to run for a while to help the tree send energy to this site and cope with this very large wound. This is the same tree that we followed another wound for about 10 years on the other side of the tree until the wound has completely closed up. That's what we hope to do on this wound. We have made the excision, we're taking care of the wound, we've treated it yet again, and we're going to track the tree's progress with coping with this large excision. It's a good draining angle here. It's not going to cup water for a long time, maybe never. I've jammed a little bit of the beeswax orange rind oil down into this checking. You can get it into those cracks and just exclude the water by the presence of the wax. This is early in the story here. This is only about year one of the excision and so we're just going to keep an eye on it and track it and see how the tree does. This would be the typical kind of wound that would turn into a rotting cavity that we see so many times. Very often a big cut like this will result in decay down into the root crown, into the main stem, and then of course cupping water, hosting decay organisms. Pretty soon we see mushrooms and shell fungus and all kinds of things. We don't want that to happen here. 